Welcome, and thank you for taking the time to learn more about the Phaser program. We've developed a series of short educational videos about Phaser and pharmacogenomics testing at the VA. We invite you to view one or more of them to inform the use and application of testing. The goal of this video is to act as an instructional guide in ordering Phaser PGX tests. In this video, we will guide you through the process of ordering pharmacogenomic testing once your patient has expressed an interest in receiving PGX testing through the Phaser program. Prior to watching this video, we encourage you to view the videos talking with your patients about PGX testing and Phaser PGX test information. The PGX test that is offered as part of the Phaser program is a panel test comprised of a number of genes which may provide additional insights into appropriate selection and dosage of certain medicines your patient may be taking. Once you have spoken with your patient about the Phaser program, they've expressed interest in testing, and you have answered any questions, it's now time to order the test for your patient. Should you require further information and guidance on how to speak with your patient about this PGX test, please refer to the video entitled, Talking with your patients about PGX testing. Based on VA policies, documentation of oral consent is required for PGX testing. Therefore, the order for the PGX test is only available through a reminder dialogue that facilitates documentation of oral informed consent. From the patient's chart, launch the phaser reminder dialogue by starting a new note entitled Pharmacogenomics Note. Once the dialogue opens, select Consent and Ordering and follow the prompts to document attestation and patient agreement to testing. Click Finish. Complete the resulting laboratory order that appears on the following screen as you normally would for your patient setting. Accept and sign. Once the order for the PGX test is placed, your patient can undergo a standard blood draw. In the event your patient has already consented to Phaser PGX testing, a dialog box will appear on your screen when you launch the consent dialog. Most patients will not need repeat testing. However, there may be times where it is appropriate to retest, such as your patient consented in the past but did not have a blood sample collected, or the phaser test panel has changed since the original test results. If you decide that retesting is indicated, that option is available to you by clicking within the dialog box here. Test results may take up to two weeks to be returned once the blood sample is received by Sanford Health's Imaginetics Lab. The reference laboratory test report will appear in Vista Imaging once the report is signed out by the testing laboratory and made available to VA, and you will be notified when results are ready. For more information on the PGX testing process, please visit our SharePoint site. For an instructional overview on interpreting Phaser PGX test reports, please refer to our provider video entitled, Interpreting Your Patient's PGX Report. Should your patient decline PGX testing, or if they request additional time to think it over, we ask that you still document this interaction within your notes, which can be done via the following steps. As shown previously, launch the Phaser Reminder dialog from the patient's chart by starting a new note entitled Pharmacogenomics Note. Select Consent and Ordering, and follow the prompts to document refusal or wishing to decide later. Click Finish. Thank you for your time and attention throughout this video. We hope you found this information to be of value to you and your clinic. Should you have any questions and or feedback about this video or the Phaser program in general, please refer to our website or contact your local site champion.